Hey guys, so I did a bit of shopping yesterday and a few weeks ago, so I thought I would share what I've got. Um, some of it's quite exciting stuff, especially the, some of the stuff that I got yesterday. But let's just have a look in my box, I've just put it in a Mimi box, what stuff I've got. Ah, this one's a really good one, let me just find it, I've got an open one. This one I think I mentioned in my um, June favourites, it's the Japanese Maybelline Baby Lips. This is in the flavour Mango Pie and I bought one and one wasn't enough because I love the formulation of this specific one. It's super, super balmy. The packaging's different to the UK one. And it's just, oh, I love it. I love it so much. So I ended up buying like a few more because I thought if these run out, then I'm not going to be happy. And these are SPF 20 as well. Super moisturizing, amazing for all year round. And I ended up getting these from Poundland or Pound World for a pound, obviously. And I bought quite a few of them. So hopefully um, these will last me. And I think these are much better than the actual UK versions of the SPF 20 versions. These are rubbish, they're so plasticky and I do like the Cherry Pie and Pink Punch. I mentioned this in my June favourites so definitely check that out but yeah these are amazing so if you can get your hands on these definitely try them out. Um, I ended up getting this also which I also mentioned in my June favourites. It's the number 7 BB Lips Beauty Balm, this is SPF. 15 and again this is such an amazing formulation it's so super creamy and balmy so it can moisturize your lips you get a tiny bit of pigmentation I don't know if it's like that's showing up but it's a really really nice one and yeah again you've got protection from the sun and it's just a really nice formulation I'm surprised I hadn't um, got this any sooner because it has been out for a while so absolutely love this one and definitely recommend these and these come in quite a variety of shades Shadies? Shades, so definitely tr check them out. From work, um, randomly we get sent stuff, so if no one's going to take it, I'm going to take it. Um, this is the Maybelline Megawatt uh, Superstay 14 hour lipstick, and this I've already got one from the Superstay um, 14 hour lipstick range, and that's in Plum Perfect Plum or something like that. But this one is in Burst of Coral, it's a really, really lovely summery colour and it's just super super bright and pink and or corally even but it's a corally pink and it goes with my scarf it's pretty much exactly the same shade of my scarf this is a really nice formulation and it does last a long time but um it's nice just to put over a gloss so it's not too in your face and it gives you a subtle hint of color so really really recommend these and they're not drying at all so absolutely love that so definitely recommend those um, I also mentioned this in my last or previous favourites, I can't remember when, but um, I got the Ico Skinny London, Ico London Skinny Liquid Liner, this is in navy, this came with, I think was it Glamour Magazine, I can't remember which one it was, it was only £2 and you got this free and it's amazing, like I didn't realise how, uh, uh, how amazing it was, it is, um, I was going to mention how I, I used to use the Ico Graffiti liner years ago, I've still got it, I think I should stop using it though because it's not, um, it's probably gone out of date or you know, I've had it way too long. But um, the skinny liner is like a skinny sort of formulation or the, the actual tip of the felt tip is skinny and look at it, the pigmentation of that is super amazing. It's a lovely navy colour, better than black. Um, in the magazines it said either the navy one was free or the the black one but I couldn't find the black one anywhere so I ended up just getting the navy one obviously and I do not regret it it's amazing it's also awesome for like an outer corner accent so I don't tend to line my upper lash line a lot it's mainly just the outer corner I tend to line if I do but really really love that um, this is something completely random well it's not random it's amazing these are the NYX lip glosses um, this is a pack of three and next, do NYX, if you don't already know, um, I don't know if it's in every single store, but, or they don't, maybe they don't stock them anymore, but definitely you can get NYX online from NYX. So I ordered this at the beginning of May, and for some reason, it was still in stocks, I actually purchased it online, and it didn't arrive when it was meant to, so I um, followed it up, went to the store that was meant to arrive up, they called them up, they reordered it, it still hadn't arrived. 
So I called them up again, it still hadn't arrived and they were like, oh just keep waiting, when it comes in stock it will be sent to you. And I'd, I'd completely forgotten about it and then it arrived on Saturday I think, was it Saturday? Um, so my mum was like, oh it's arrived, you can, well it's finally got here and I was like, finally? And the promotion was, well it was randomly that I was in um, next on Oxford Street or near Marble Arch and they were giving that random £10 off vouchers for first time purchases from online so I thought oh this is £12 all I need to do is spend another £3 and get well yeah end up spending only like a couple of quid so I bought a pair of tights which was £4 so in total it was 16 minus the tights and minus the £10 these were only £2 um, which is amazing and you get three and full size usually they're about 450 each I think individually from the website but even 12 pounds is quite expensive for three and these are amazing in here you've got the shade sugar pie beige which is more of a pink and natural and the packaging of these are amazing the beige one on my lips looks quite um sort of shimmery glossy I'll just swatch them for you it's just a normal doe foot applicator they're actually quite sticky that one's quite nudey looking on my lips, mainly just quite shimmery. That's that one. Um, beige is a nice pinky looking one on my lips, which is quite a nice one. That's beige. And just watch that one there. It's really quite nice. These are quite sticky, not super, super sticky, but fairly sticky. And definitely glossy, as they are glosses. And the colour natural is like a my lips sort of colour or like a mauvey natural sort of colour and I'll just swatch that one there that's quite a nice colour and I absolutely love that one and um, yeah really really lovely I'm so glad I've got these finally I was hoping for more of a creamy formulation but I suppose the NYX butter glosses are more creamy than these which are actual gloss glosses and the packaging of these is super cute there's like a bow on top which I never seen before so really really glad I finally got these and I can start using them with just my everyday lip colours and whatnots and routines really really glad and it was so worth it so worth the wait anyway so from boots yesterday I need to just grab it okay so one of the things which I've had my eyes on which is I think this is like a new launch recently and it's the uh, fudge urban color hair chalks these are amazing I've not actually tried them out properly yet um, it says pumped up purple color chalk and literally what you're meant to do is obviously cover yourself so you, um, your clothes don't get um, colored with chalk um, apply rub the dome color dome directly on hair wherever you'd like the color work through with fingers to remove excess dust spray with a light layer of hairspray to seal it in colour. Use ice white shade to create a soft pastel look. So, I didn't actually think these were going to be that effective because obviously my hair is super black. It is really dark. I might even do a bit of a demonstration. I don't know if it works. So this is what the colour looks like. It's a super, super awesome purple colour. Like, that is amazing. I don't think you can get any more purple than this. And literally, you just meant to apply it. I don't know if it's going to show up. Let's just see my mirror here. Oh, let me just see if I can see it. But you can see it straight away. Like, it's amazing. I might actually even purchase the pink and the blue one as well because they're on offer at the moment. They're meant to be $5.99, but it's only $3.99 or something like that. Obviously, I wouldn't just have it here, but I would put it on my tips or something. But this is such an amazing colour. I've always wanted to try chalking my hair. I just never got the... I never got round to doing it. I think you can get away with doing it with just Crayola chalk and then like sort of uh, applying hairspray and then using a hair straightener to sort of lock in the colour. But again, if you're looking for some fun sort of colours just for one-off tries, then definitely recommend these whether you've got dark or light coloured hair. So really, really excited about that. Just drop the lid. But yeah, you get about four grams in these and they're really quite cute and super cute really cool packaging absolutely love this and i'm glad this is accessible now in your local boots so something else which i've now repurchased is this 
the Clinique Anti Blemish Solutions Clinic Clinical Clearing Gel. Um, yeah, this is for obviously if you've got acne or spot prone skin. Um, it's highly, it's got a high content of alcohol, so it sort of just absorbs into your skin and then evaporates. So there's no residue, there's no excess peeling or crumbling, which you get with most of the acne sort of um, topical treatments. This literally sinks into your skin. Love it. I purchased the full size. This is £20 and I use my points, my boots points to get this because I thought why not because um, £20 is quite expensive but it has lasted me how many months? a couple of months which is not bad usually I go through spot treatment things within a month or so but this has lasted a few months so really really recommend this especially if you do have acne or spot prone skin and um, whether it's just the odd few or like if it's all over I don't know how effective it is if you've got obviously acne really bad acne but for my needs this is perfect so great purchase and then the last few things I got in um, body shop I sort of just wandered in there was a buy one get one half price mix and match off which I thought I would end up getting with the two products I got but one of them was, was a sale item so it didn't work on that but it's fine so the first thing I saw was the body shop tea tree flawless BB cream now generally I wouldn't opt to buy a BB cream in the drugstore because they're not good. First off, I won't find my colour. Second off, um, they're just not enough coverage for my liking. So maybe as a base it's good, but this is a tea tree based one, so it's suitable for obviously blemish skin, which I tend to have most of the time. And yeah, it's really great. Um, you get 40ml in this, I think. Yeah, 40ml. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on my hand, not arm, um, just wipe this stuff off first and I was really quite surprised actually first off of the actual colour because I'm quite not dark dark but I'm quite dark tanned a dark tan sort of colour and obviously now it's getting to summertime I'm probably going to get even darker the only thing about this is this is very moisturising, it's like a very moisturising sort of formulation, it's not easily I mean, it blends in after a while, you have to blend in quite a lot and you try and take a tiny bit out well, okay, now I know how to take a tiny bit out usually I end up squirting a lot out so I'm just gonna put it on my hand, that's what it looks like it's a really nice colour and you have to do a lot of blending you can smell the tea tree straight away so it's good if you want to apply it as a base first before you apply any foundations just to even out the skin and I really like it. It is very moisturising though, so sometimes you might have to apply a primer first, but you have to do a lot of blending for it to actually work its colour into the skin, and it leaves a dewy finish. I did try it this morning by itself, and then I obviously added a few extra things because I need the extra coverage, but really nice, and you can definitely smell the tea tree in it, so that's it's quite pigmented, and yeah, it does leave the skin looking nice and um, dewy and fresh and if you don't need a lot of coverage and you're looking for a nice sort of tea tree treatment kind of BB cream then definitely recommend this these were quite cool this was eight pounds which is fairly, fairly reasonable um, we get 40 mil which is 10 mil more than the usual BB cream slash foundations that you get in the drugstores and yeah I can't wait to continue using this another thing which I saw in the sales section in body shop this was five pounds I don't know how much originally was but this is a cream compact foundation it's got SPF 15 which is amazing and this is in the shade 405 golden caramel so obviously they're probably gonna stop doing this range but I thought let me just try it out kinda wish I'd got a second one just in case um, so you get the actual cream product which obviously I've used yesterday and today you only get what 8.5 grams so I don't know how long it will last me but it's really nice especially if you need to touch up and you've got the brush sort of underneath and there's a mirror there so it's quite a creamy formulation I might I put it on top I don't know I think it works well with my colour obviously I've got powder on at the moment so it's probably not looking so great on top but I think for touch ups this is perfect for on the go and now I've just got it on my glasses <laughs> but I really really like this and it's really smoothing and 
yeah, I'm just glad I got it. It was only five pounds, so not a big loss if it wasn't gonna work out, but I thought it looked like my skin tone color, so, and it's got that yellowy sort of look to it. So I'm really, really glad I got this. This has got extra virgin minerals. And the good thing about Body Shop, which I've forgotten, is it's against animal testing, which is perfect because obviously the more environmentally and animal friendly I can be, then the better that is for just life in general. So yeah, that was my little mini haul. Hope you enjoyed and uh, have you been rebuying anything recently? Have you been loving things? What have you been buying? Um, if you Seriously, if you can get your hands on this baby lips, do so because they are amazing. They're super moisturizing. Um, and I think I will see you in my next video. No, I will. What am I talking about? I will see you in my next video. Bye.